I've been in LA two years now. I've lost a ton of weight, right? Mostly stress and poverty. <laughs> and not knowing where the biscuits are. You know, you gotta earn that knowledge. Um, so I've lost a lot of weight, which is fine, but I've always stand for fat women, and now I'm not, I'm thick or whatever, but it's cool to be fat, because we live in this post-Kardashian fat-ass era, you know? And that's not cool, because it was not easy for me, you know? When I was a young person, I had one store to shop at at the mall. Lane Bryant, which is fine, you know? It's, it's not a good store, it's a store you shop at when you wanna look like a substitute teacher, you know? It's a lot of business casual, which is fine, but that's not a good look when you're in middle school, right? You don't wanna go to middle school every day and then when you miss a day, the teacher's like, where's Brie? And everybody's like, I think she's temping. I think she had a job interview and that's why she couldn't make it to social studies today. She's in HR now. She's not in the seventh grade anymore. That's my life. Um, it's good to be fat now, right? Um, you know, lots of options for little girls. Go to the mall. You can shop at the store for fat, angry teenage goth girls called Torrid. And that's where I shop now. And it's great. Hot deals. Brought some pants home from Torrid the other day. You know, they make clothes for tweens now and they're all distressed. Like they've been drugged behind a car. I just have a tip. You know, if you're designing clothes for like chubby teens, you want them to feel great about themselves. Maybe don't design clothes that look as though they are bursting out of them. Like little baby goth she-hulks, right? Like someone did a Tim Burton movie and she lost it. Rah! Alice in Wonderland was underrated. I loved it. Love this time of year. Love basketball season. Any other basketball fans in the house? Yeah, cool. Tentative, guys, I understand. I don't look like a basketball fan. Look like a fan of musical theater and soup. And I do love those things, right? Absolutely. Not gonna lie about that. Love it. But I also love basketball. I truly do. And I like to just support my team. I don't really care about the points and statistics. I just like to support my dudes emotionally and spiritually. And if you're like me, you can do what I do. Watch the game. Turn the volume down. Use your imagination to pretend the ball does not exist, you guys. What it ends up looking like is a bunch of hot, sweaty, young bros who care very deeply and passionately about each other. Whoa! And it's beautiful, right? And it looks like this. <laughs> are you okay? Hello? Are you mad at me? Hey, look at me. Are you, hey, are you mad? Can we talk about this? Hello? I'm open. I'm open. I'm open to a productive dialogue. What if that's what it was? Beautiful. Male relationships are my sports, you know? That's what I'm there for. I love it. I became kind of a, a late basketball fan, you know? Kind of tried to figure it out. Why am I a late basketball fan? Figured it out. Culturally, right? Basketball starts with five. Dynamically sized healthy, attractive, talented young dudes. What is five talented, dynamic, handsome young dudes? It's a boy band, it's a boy band. Nobody told me it was a boy band. It's always been a boy band, okay? I'll explain it to you, I'll give you a refresher in boy band, very simple formula, right? Boy band starts with one tall dude in the middle. He's like the center for the boy band, right? And he's got one job, he's got a low voice, and he's got a job and it's to talk you through the bridge. <laughs> that's that dude, that's all he does. To the left of him, you got the wild card, right? He's a little bit older than the other guys, right? And he's from the streets. Maybe, maybe he's from the streets. And he takes things to a weird place, right? He's like, am I sexual? And everybody's like, AJ, take it down a notch, okay? These girls are young, bro, that's weird. AJ's like, I know, man, I got three daughters of my own at home, okay? But you're here for the girls and I'm here for their mom, so here we go, one more time. Okay, that's AJ. Then you got the leader, okay? He's got a strong jawline. He's got strong vocals. That's it. <laughs> then you got the leader with the looks, right? And the acting abilities and the dance moves and the golden curls. And that's the Timberlake, right? And we all want just the Timberlake, right, folks? But you gotta take all of these busters as baggage and that's a good lesson for later. There are strings attached, actually. <laughs> I left out a very important character, right? Dude, he's like hanging out in the back. He's got fun clothes. He's got beautiful blue eyes. He's got frosted blonde tips. And you're 12 years old, right? But you're like, 
are you gay? And he's like, meh, yes. Completes the set. I will take one of each, wrap them up. Love a boy band, love it, you know? Something about it when you're that age, it's undeniable. You can't, you have no choice. When you're 12 years old, you're so sensitive. All your skin is like a throbbing clit. You don't know what to do with that energy. It ignites you, you know? You don't know where, it just travels up, right? And it goes to your stomach and you're like, I love these guys so much. I am gonna throw up. And then it travels up to your heart and you're like, I didn't know love was like this. I don't have the capacity yet. You know, I can't breathe. And then it's in your throat and then it pops out of the top of your crown chakra like a tea kettle and you're just like, and that's why if you're a person who is into boy bands one man will never satisfy you it must be five and we don't have an app for that yet quinder that's my idea i think it'd be fun so I'm a woman, you guys might have seen that. I'm a woman, that's my gender. I'm a woman, that's my gender. Um, I have uh, preferred gender pronouns. They're she, her, those are my preferred gender pronouns. I like she, her. I'll answer to they, them. I got no problem with they, them. I'll show for they, them, them, they, all day. And then I realized recently at a Subway sandwich, I like a sir every once in a while. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I brought so much authority to that curvy glass, you know, that the kid was like, uh, g green pepper, sir? And I was like, oh, I'm living my life right. Feels good, feels strong, you know? So much so I've been calling little girls, sir, to empower them, right? I saw my niece the other day. I was like, listen, sir, we did not get the apple juice you requested. Boss, we're working on it, please. Sir, if you'll just be flexible, Dora will be on any moment. Please, sir, please. Watch that little girl bloom in front of you, right? She'll be like, yeah, see that you do. We need these little bitches powerful, presidential, you know, like elite Yelp reviewer, entitled. Uh, in a similar vein, um, I've been calling old men queen whenever I get the chance because you can do that. You can just plant a seed and not stick around to see what grows, you know. Go to the bank, hold the door, uh-huh, and have a nice day, queen, and walk away. Get out of there. A lot of fun. So whole Sunday. Um, I'll tell you guys this story about being misgendered. Uh, one time I was a child, I was 17 years old, and I was the same uh, look that I am now basically, but I had none of the sauce, none of the swagger, you know? I was just a chubby cabbage patch doll making my way in the world. And I had a crush on a boy on the football team. And one day I was like, okay, today's the day. I'm gonna say something, here I go. He's coming down the hall towards me. I'm like, okay, today's the day, here I go. And I go, hi, Cody. And he goes, hey, big guy, and keeps walking. And it was very hard, it was very painful, and you guys are enjoying that? Great, that's good. It's, uh, it was hard, it, in 2001, it was very hard to hear that, big guy, it was very hard to hear that. 2019, though, close enough, right? I was probably bringing that big guy energy, you know? Big guy moves in the hallway, like, you know, taking up a lot of space, you know? Walking down the hall, wearing a puffy vest of some kind. It's just making it worse, you know? Taking up a lot of space. Eating a Twix bar, brazenly, aggressively, two at a time, right? Chomp, chomp, chomp. I don't got time for two bars, baby. Big guy coming through, you know? <laughs> Taking a phone call on speaker. That's a big guy move, right? Ring, ring, bloop. You got Pruitt, go. <laughs> Too slow, bloop, on my hip, right? If it ends up on a utility belt, you know? Or I'm wearing a cargo short or a fanny pack. Big guy works fine. That seems totally appropriate to me. I'm also a heterosexual woman, which is fine. Just the way things, just the way things shook out, you know? But I'm, I'm open. Um, I've always had a lot of queer friends who are very supportive of me. It's very nice. Um, the other day I was in a bar with my queer friends and this beautiful woman walked in this bar. And I thought, guys, maybe I'm on the wrong team here. This girl is very beautiful. And they were like, which girl? And I was like, that girl. And they were like, that chubby, vaguely ethnic brunette. Yeah, that girl looks like you. You're, you're not gay, you're a narcissist. That's what's happening. All right, thanks, you guys. I'm Bree Pruitt. Have a good night. <laughs>